probably waked in this room. We just don't know what position of the room he was waked in. He was embalmed in the bedroom upstairs, as you saw, uh, probably very near that location. We pay people to come in, ladies with all their black attire, ready to go, veils on their heads, weeping into their handkerchiefs for someone who they probably didn't know, but look good for the for everyone else. It was important. Um, all of the trappings around it, the black curtains, the covers for, for, the, for the mirrors, you didn't have this stuff hanging around. You had to go and buy it. You had to have it made. A widow would have to wear solid black for a full year. So she would need to go out and have dresses made herself. It was business. All the jewelry that you saw, the, the morning jewelry, all of these trappings, it was pretty big business. We have no idea how many people actually attended the funeral of Simon Thornton at the time. Um, it's moving to have this many people interested in what we're presenting here today. We were talking about this earlier today. The weddings are the biggest thing. And in the Victorian time, I think, I think funerals may have been bigger. And I have to look at it going, everybody didn't get married, but each one of us dies. Let us share this service from the Book of Common Prayer. I am the resurrection and the life, saith the Lord. He that believeth in me, though he be dead, yet shall he live. Then shall be brought to pass the saying which is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? My brothers and sisters, let us now prepare to take our brother to his final resting place. Amen.